Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For the friends, who are not native speakers, you can turn on subtitles. The need for efficient and environmental friendly vehicles, has pushed significant research in electric vehicles and hybrid vehicles, since power electronics became reliable at the necessary power levels. The demand for rare earth magnets, is also further exacerbated by the growth of wind power, which is projected to consume, a significantly greater share of rare earth magnets, than hybrid vehicles. Therefore, there are high demands of a rare earth free motor, for the next generation HEVs. A primary challenge, is the choice of the most efficient and most cost effective electric machine. While induction machines are considered mature, and permanent magnet synchronous machines and switched reluctance machines, are still evolving for EV and HEV applications. Induction machine designs still follow rules, established several decades ago. While there is an opportunity for enhanced induction machine designs, that utilize advanced manufacturing technologies, materials, and control methods, research on hybrid permanent magnet machines and switch reluctance machines, in addition to comparisons of both is available and sometimes ignores induction machines. In practice, many advanced EV designs employ induction machines, often accompanied by reports of superior performance. In the last video, we derived the electrical model of the induction motor, and the alpha beta reference frame, described by these four differential equations. Change the reference frame to the DQ frame is equivalent to rotating the space vector in alpha beta frame, clockwise by theta s. In this rotating dq reference frame, the rotor flux vector is fixed, to the real axis of the coordinate system. Therefore, its quadrature component is zero. Based on the real and imaginary components of this equation, the dynamic electrical model in the DQ reference frame is obtained. It can be shown that the rotor flux in the DQ reference frame satisfies this equations. As seen in the PMSM videos, relationships exist between the current, voltage and flux variables in the alpha beta reference frame and the DQ reference frame, governed by the Clark transformation. The electromagnetic torque of induction motor, is calculated using the cross product of the space vectors, of rotor flux and stator current in the DQ reference frame. If the electromagnetic torque, is calculated using the space vectors of rotor and stator current in the alpha beta reference frame, then it is proportional to the cross product of the space vectors, of rotor flux and stator current in the stationary frame. Note that the expression of electromagnetic torque in the DQ reference frame is only related to PCRD and ISQ. These two variables are DC variables, thus the torque control can be achieved by controlling PCRD and ISQ, to their specified constant reference signals. On the other hand, in the alpha beta reference frame, it is much more difficult to achieve torque control, because its expression is associated with the fluxes in alpha beta reference frame, that are sinusoidal signals. As model parameters of induction motor, we use so Euro drive motor. 
we can extract from the data sheet, nameplate of the induction motor. These physical parameters are used in this video series for simulations and experiments. In the DQ reference frame, the responses of stator currents ISD, ISQ, rotor flux PCRD and motor mechanical velocity omega m are calculated by building an induction motor simulator using the MATLAB Simulink, followed by entering the physical parameters into this simulator. Choosing the voltage input signals, USD and USQ, as step signals with amplitudes of 10 volt and 100 volt respectively, the simulation results of currents, and velocity are shown in this figure. After having modeled and simulated the induction motor, in the next videos we will implement the field oriented control for the asynchronous machines, in the same way as we did for the PMSM. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, because without your support, this channel cannot survive.